Hi, I'm Laura Risotto. I'm representing Latvia this year in Eurovision with my song Funny Girl, and you are at EurovisionLive.com. Hola, Laura. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Uh, you are a real world citizen, I would say. <laughs> Born in Rio, grew up and living in in uh, New York right now. Yes, yes. I grew. I was born and raised in Rio, but I've been living in the U.S. for the past six, past six years and three and a half in New York. So, so and, <laughs> crazy. And, and representing Latvia, that's a strange yes. combination somehow. Yeah, well, I am a Latvian citizen as well. My I'm Latvian on my father's side. My father is Latvian and Brazilian as well, and my grandma's side of the family is all from Latvia. So, yeah. we're we're kind of a salad of a family. My mom's side is Brazilian. That's why. So, what spe special connection do you have to the Eurovision Song Contest? I mean, it's. It, I like the initiative that the contest has. I like that it values the different cultures that we have, really, you know? Because, of course, it's pop music, it's a pop music contest, really, but everyone has a different approach to it, and they bring something cultural to it as well, and that's, we're celebrating those differences. So I think that's that's why I like it so much. If you live in New York, and this is the town of musicals, your, your song is called Funny Girl. It's a little bit like Barbara Streisand's <laughs> Funny Girl. I mean, the song really isn't. Um, I thought, I knew about the movie, and I was yeah. like, funny girl, I, I hadn't, haven't watched it yet, but I thought it was an interesting concept as well. Um, um, but yeah, but, but not, not related to the movie. <laughs> yeah, but, but what's the message of the song? Uh, could you tell us a little bit? Well, the, so the story of the song is a girl that falls in love with her best friend, and it's basically the friend zone song. That's the easiest way to really pin it down. Um, and she can't tell him because she's afraid she'll get rejected which happens very often. And then she keeps to herself and then she's like, I can't take it anymore, I gotta tell him. But when she decides to do it, it was too late and he had fallen for someone else. And she sees that happening, it's very painful. Um, and my message with that song is just, uh, just like, don't be afraid to embrace that vulnerability and to tell someone how you feel about them because it's a wonderful thing when you like someone and you have feelings for them to tell them. It's, it's, they, they should be so lucky to know that you feel that way. And especially like if you're a girl, I feel like girls sometimes are very afraid of taking initiative and because they have the stigma that you shouldn't do it. But you know what? You should embrace it. Yeah. Your song uh, appears a little bit like the most sophisticated song this year. It's a quite wow. adult or a major song, I would say. Thank you. That's... And you wrote everything by yourself. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, thank you. And I, I produced it with um, Pablo San Mata, he's one of my best friends and an amazing producer. He's actually here in Eurovision, so I'm happy to have him here too. You're also acquaintance with, uh, no, you're also a friend uh, with uh, Jennifer Lopez somehow. <laughs> oh, tell us a little bit. <laughs> Um, I got to work with Jennifer Lopez for, um, I was her vocal coach when she was singing in Portuguese. She recorded a couple of duets with Brazilian artists and I was her coach to help her sing in Portuguese. Wow. And it was a wonderful experience. I mean, she's iconic. I'm Jenny from the block, you know? Um, so it was a pleasure to be able to work with her. And of course that I was in a position to teach Portuguese, but just being around her, I learned so much from how she carries herself, how professional she is. And, is yeah. she going to watch you? Yeah, I don't know, fingers crossed. Hey Jenny, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> That'd be amazing, I don't know. Uh, yeah, cool. Let's see. So what are your expectations from this contest? <sighs> Just to really absorb this entire experience, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot. Because I've been going to all of the parties as well for the, you know, the promotion in Madrid and Amsterdam and Tel Aviv and Riga. Um, so I think I just want to, now we're here, just want to have fun on stage mm. and it's such a, a treat for artists, for us artists to be able to perform on this amazing stage with this incredible team and I, I just want to have fun and make Latvia proud of my performance really. Yeah, cool. Thank you so much, Laura Risotto. Thank Very funny know. name as well. Risotto. It says a little bit like the yeah, dish. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it sounds. It doesn't. It's not written as the food though. It's two yeah. Z's and two it's, T's. It's, but when you say it, yeah, whatever helps you remember, really. It's our favorite dish, of course, and our favorite song. Yeah. I actually had an yeah. amazing, the best risotto of my life yesterday here in Portugal. It was vegan risotto with mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Pablo, the producer, is also vegan. We were so happy. Seriously, just. Good risotto having risotto. Give me the address later on. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> thank you so much, Laura Risotto from for Latvia this year. Yes, thank you. Danke schön.